हेलो एवरी वन आई एम डॉक्टर ए पी हिवरेकर वर्किंग इन विद्या प्रतिष्ठान कमल नयन बजाज इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ इंजीनियरिंग एंड टेक्नोलॉजी बारामती इन दिस पर्टिकुलर वीडियो लेक्चर वी आर गोइंग टू सी इंजीनियरिंग मैथमेटिक्स वन कंटेंट्स एंड जनरल गाइडलाइंस आउटलाइन ऑफ दिस लेक्चर इज वी विल सी वॉट इज टीचिंग स्कीम एग्जामिनेशन स्कीम कोर्स कंटेंट्स बुक्स विच आर रिक्वायर्ड टू यू बेस रिक्वायर्ड एंड स्मार्ट टिप्स फॉर युअर इंजीनियरिंग मैथमेटिक्स सो इंजीनियरिंग मैथमेटिक्स वन विच कंसिस्ट ऑफ लिनियर अलजेब्रा कैलकुलस and in this particular course we require differentiation integration basics of matrices and determinant as a prerequisite so this particular course is for four credits and three credits for theory lectures which are 3 hours per week and one credit for tutorial which is one hour per week which is batch wise i'm going to highlight examination scheme very soon in the next few slides so syllabus course contents for engineering maths 1 it is unit wise syllabus so there are 6 units out of that we have unit number 1 which is differential calculus and every unit required approximately 7 hours so unit number 1 consist of expansion of functions taylor series maclaurin series indeterminate forms el hospital rule and evaluation of limits unit number 2 consist of fourier series starting from definition dirichlet conditions we are going to learn full range half full range fourier series half range fourier series harmonic analysis and applications to problems in engineering unit number 3 consist of partial differentiation and in this particular topic we are going to see study function of several variables partial derivatives euler's theorem on homogeneous functions partial derivative of composite functions and total derivatives unit number 4 which is applications of partial differentiation in which we are going to study jacobians and its applications errors and approximations maximum minimum of function of two variables lagrange method of undetermined multipliers and unit number 5u which is linear algebra that consists of matrices system of linear equations starting from rank of matrix by converting matrix to its echelon form normal form solving system of linear equations linear dependence and linear independence of vectors linear and orthogonal transformations and applications to problems in engineering unit number 6 which consist of eigen values and eigen vectors and diagonalization of the matrix eigen values eigen vectors we are going to study how to find eigen values eigen vectors then we will study Kelly-Hamilton theorem and method of diagonalizing matrix and its applications. Examination scheme. This particular paper, which is for 130 marks, and there are four components of evaluation, which is one is in-semester examination, another one, second one is end-semester examination, course activity. and term work so in semester examination is for 20 marks and it is based on unit number 1 and 
end semester examination is for 70 marks and which is based on unit number 1 to 6. <coughs> then course activity for 20 marks and term work for 20 marks. So we are going to discuss in more details during your classes how in same examination and same examination pattern as well as the course activity as well as term work will be conducted. Then textbooks which are required to you Higher Engineering Mathematics by V.V. Ramana, Tata M.C. Grawal Hill, <coughs> 2011. Then second book is Applied Mathematics, Volume Number 1 and 2 by P.N. and J.N. Bhartikar, Pune Vidyarthi Grah, uh, Prakashan, Pune. So it is 2009 edition. Then there are few reference books. Engineering Mathematics Tutorial Approach, very good book by Ravi Singh and Mukul Bhatt, 2013 edition. Higher Engineering Mathematics by B.S. Greval, Khanna Publication, 2019. Advanced Engineering Mathematics by Erving Krejik, Wiley Edition, Wiley Eastern Limited, 2023. Then Advanced Engineering Mathematics by Peter O'Neill. Thomas Learning 2024. Edition may be different but mostly the contents will be the same. So you may go through these books and maybe you, you will be able to get uh, updated edition or previous edition. It doesn't matter. So contents are mostly same. Then tutorial for Guideline for tutorial and term work. Tutorial for the subject shall be engaged in minimum three batches and every batch consists of 23 students. And for every division, there will be three batches. Term work shall consist of six assignments and on each unit one to six and is based on your performance and continuous internal assessment. Then what we require as a base, which are the important topics that you already learned up to your 12th standard, like trigonometry, which was your favorite topic and that we required as a base for engineering mathematics. Limits, you already done calculus part, limits, derivative, integration, maxima minima of function. These are the topics which are required as a base. Then matrices you already done and in this particular semester we are going to learn extension of that. It is advanced part of that. Determinant you already done we require as a base. Linear equations then how to deal with quadratic equations as well as polynomial equations also we require. How to find roots of polynomial equations and all these topics require as a base. Do not worry whenever there is uh, base required, we are going to explain during your classes uh, that particular part. So, base required as we have seen, if you summarize that, differentiation, derivative, unit number 1, 3 and 4, they are based on differentiation. So, we have 6 units and out of 6, 3 units are based on derivative. So, 50% of our syllabus is based on differentiation. There is one unit Fourier series that is unit number two which is based on totally integration. So 17% of our course is based on integration and matrices and unit number five and six that is linear algebra which is based on matrices and determinants. So 33% of our syllabus almost is based on determinant matrices. So I am not going to explain in more details but as everybody know every subject needs mathematics as a background. Maybe it is computer, IT, AIDS, ENTC, mechanical, electrical, civil or any subject like data science, physics, chemistry, biology, medical, commerce 
arts you take name of any subject you will find we required some mathematics and definitely for engineers mathematics is a base most important subject so you have to start your study from the beginning and you have to have a command on mathematical concepts so smart tips for your math study so it is it matters how many hours you are studying is not important how you are studying is very important what is your particular technique so for that we will see what are the smart tips to study math understand basic concept which is most important factor to get success in mathematics so you must understand thoroughly basic concepts then command on the formulas that is the second important part you must have command on each and every formula do more practice as said practice makes man perfect so every day you have to solve at least five problems then definitely you will be very happy as well as you will perform very well in the mathematics use youtube video lectures which are available and go through that always try to score good marks in mathematics because your score matters your marks matters everywhere first step is whenever you are going for any position or any interview or any competitive examination first thing that we'll see is how many marks you got and marks of mathematics plays very important role to maintain your average performance solve challenging problems is very important you need to solve few problems which are very very challenging and apply knowledge to area of your interest whatever mathematical knowledge you are getting gaining you are achieving that you need to apply to the area of your interest so these are few key points that you must follow and if you follow these points definitely will perform better in this particular semester so i wish you all the best thank you very much for listening this particular video and happy learning